President Trump's call for NFL players who kneel in protest during the playing of the national anthem, well, that sparked a controversy on this football Sunday. About 100 players took part in protests during today's games. And players from the Ravens and the Jaguars, well, they played in London. And even though they were overseas, they also knelt, uh, kneeled. But then they stood during the playing of the British national anthem. But Steele's offensive tackle, Alejandro Villanueva, there he is. He's standing, even while the rest of his team, the Steelers, they re remained in the locker room. You know, Villanueva is a West Point graduate. He's an Army Ranger. He earned the Bronze Star for saving his buddies in combat. Mr. Villanueva served three tours in Afghanistan, and he stood on behalf of his country. How will this all play out in politics? I think it actually makes me want to go more, just to show support for our players and try to keep the two issues separate. And, and once again, there's a lot on the president's plate right now, and what's going on in the NFL should be, like, on the bottom of his list or not on his list at all. 100%. I mean, listen, I'm a veteran, man. You know, those guys are getting paid millions of dollars, and I used to get a paycheck of $750 twice a month in the military. If you can't stand for the national anthem, then get the hell off the field. This wasn't about Trump. This was about the cause. Now it turned from the cause to everybody uniting for the injustice or against the president. Oh, I, I'm not going to boycott the NFL at all. What's, what are your thoughts? Why, actually? Tell well, me. Why? Because, because I understand people have the right to protest, right? But you protest against a specific action. If you are going to protest for Black Lives Matters, right, march in a Black Lives Matters, right? If you're going to protest specifically, but don't do it at a sporting event. I just think it's the wrong venue. I would never boycott the NFL because I love football, um, but I think the, the president should have interjected in it. He should have said something. He's the president. Do I agree with everything that he says? No, I don't agree with everything that he says, but at least he shows that he's paying attention. This former candidate for the DNC chairs with us and Brad Blakeman, Republican strategist and board member of sportsfan.org, which is the largest sports advocacy nonprofit. So let me start with you, Brad, because you got some sports uh, experience as well as politics. Is the president right? The president is absolutely right. As the patriot in chief and the commander in chief, he speaks for America. And when we have players disrespecting the American flag and the American people and the fans that support them, he has every right to express his opinion. When I go to a game, I, I want to leave reality. Sports has been historically one of the great uniters of our country. And I didn't come and pay uh, a ticket price or a, or a cable price to be lectured to or to be part of a protest that I'm in not favor of. So I think uh, sports fans have absolutely the power to bring these teams and leagues to their knees if they so choose in, in uh, condoning or not condoning the kind of behavior that we've seen not only in our own country but now in England. Jimu. Well, Eric, first, I, I think I do have experience in sports because I'm a huge football fan. I've been a Redskins fan since the day I was born in Washington, D.C. But look, here's the situation. Yes, the president has every right, and he certainly has the largest platform to express his thoughts. But what he seems to be forgetting and what Brad doesn't touch on is that the, the freedom to critique our country is actually one of our greatest freedoms. And, and, and the president doesn't seem to understand that. He certainly did when he was a reality TV star. And in the role of president, he is, I think, in many ways living up to that reality TV president that some voters wanted. But the unity that we are seeing from players and owners and coaches to push back against this president's very divisive message to players and to the NFL, uh, that's the unity that we would, we would hope that the president himself could rise to in this occasion. But, Juma, what about what he said uh, when, before he left the airport in Morristown? I mean, he said that it's, it, it's not racist. It's about respect for the country. He has said it's about respect for the flag and representing those freedoms of which you speak. Well, let's go back to what this is about. Colin Kaepernick 
took a knee to bring attention to police brutality, to racial injustice. And in many ways, it, it pains me that President Trump is, is stepping on this message. There is a real conversation that needs to happen about those issues that first started this protest. And, and in, it's been muddied, and, and now all of the oxygen is being sucked to you know whatever Donald Trump is going to tweet next or say next. But this started as a protest against Think of all of those videos that Colin Kaepernick and the entire country were watching of young black men, young black boys being killed and no accountability uh, as they were unarmed. Uh, well, and well, there not was some say, accountability in trials absolutely of, of, of there was police officers. Well, but, so but, that's where that be, that, that's where yeah, this began. And he has a pattern. The president certainly has now developed a pattern of where he saves his most like righteous, in his mind righteous, venom for successful Black All right, Brad, people. is this righteous vem vemen, or is it, uh, you know, s I I the president's view standing up for America? I mean, but, 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 but you know, Jammu has an issue and a point when you talk about it represents the very uh, values of the democracy of free expression that we hold so dear. It does, but uh, there's a time and place. Look, protest on your own time, on your own dime. Don't subject me as a fan to your protest. I didn't pay to see a protest, they play to see a game. And by the way, constitutional freedom of speech is not an absolute right, it's tempered by your employment. Uh, look, I, I didn't uh, hire, if I was a, an NFL owner, a player to be political. I, I hired him to play the sport. And, and uh, there's a time and place for protest, but at an NFL game is mm -hmm. not the time nor the place. Uh, and, 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 and speech, it, again, is, uh, is protected, but it's not, an absolute right. Uh, anybody can do whatever fathers, they want. Our founding fathers certainly did not say a time and no, place they, for protest. And so they did. we as individual yes. citizens the, the, can decide The Constitution has been interpreted time in many place. instances. You can't, right, you can't scream fire in a, in a crowded theater. Yep, and there's yep, a reason there's for the that. the debate. Just like football, we have a time clock, too, and we're out of it. Thank you, Brad and Jim. <laughs> we'll be right back.